Hey guys, welcome to the shed. I am coming off a weekend of great live music in LA. I went down to a place that us locals know about called the Escondite. It's downtown on the east side of the big buildings that you see. Little venue, great music, great bands, a lot of blues, uh, trash Delta blues people float through there. Great place to go. Um, now, interestingly enough, I've got a big bodied um, guitar made by K. It's thick. It's almost like it's got the thickness of a Gibson ES-175, but this is a uh, old Craftsman brand, old Craftsman, which is K made for Spiegel, which was a mail order company. But um, this is a, when it all comes down to it, a model K1 built by K. Really big body, uh, single cutaway. This is actually the second one of these that's come through the shop lately. I um, did one that Troy Mura of Restaurant had me put pickups in. I did a really long episode that shows you start to finish on that guitar. If you're doing arch tops and putting pickups in and stuff, you're going to want to see this one because it shows a lot of the pitfalls of what's inside of here when you're trying to cut holes into one of these things that has a um, uh, hasn't had a pickup on it before. You find out where the tone bars, the braces, and all that is. So I'm going to give you a link to that one right up there. It's called the Restaurant Junk Pile. Again, really long video, but you'll learn about what's inside of these, how they're built, and how to take one that's trashed and fix it up because they split, they crack, uh, and everything. And the interesting thing about that one was that... Um, Troy wanted it to look just like it did. In fact, the first thing he did when he got it back was tape up the F holes because these things are horrendous uh, when they vibrate. You'll notice that um, the older arch tops from the 30s and 40s and even into the 50s, the acoustic guitars were built uh, to project. And now when you put pickups on one of these, they project all right to the point where the top vibrates and and, and, and the um, feedback is terrible. So because of that, when they started putting um, pickups on guitars with F-holes, you'll notice that the semi-hollow bodies got really thin, and that's why to control feedback. Anyway, I could go on about that forever. This guitar here, we're going to know it as the East L.A. Cutaway, East L.A cutaway. I'm going to give you a link to the playlist. It's got the episodes up there. So as this guitar comes together, you're going to be able to see this. Um, we did one about this custom pit guard here um, made by one of my friends in Europe. And, and again, in that playlist, there's an episode um, up there. Laurent Bompart, uh, thank you very much. Anyway, what we're doing with this one is the next step is we are going to play with this neck because this neck uh, has broken off or the hide glue has come undone. And we're going to do some work on this. And, and then we're going to fix this. We're going to get the angle set on it right. We're going to get back in here. But while we're in here, I'm going to find a place. While I've got you here, let's get the pointer up. You see this has kind of a V shape. So if you're going to bolt on a neck, and you start trying to run a bolt through here and you're off at all, you're going to ruin this part. So while we're in here, we would pick the place where it's thick enough to center up a bolt that will go through uh, and get an aviation or a lock uh, nut on the end of it inside of here. Um, I gave you an episode about bolting on a neck. It's right up there right about now. But while this is off, we'll drill a hole from here so we know where it needs to be here and then we'll flatten out a spot. We'll make sure... This neck never comes up, but that's our next step on the East L.A. cutaway. Now, we are going to put a, a pickup on it. I've got an original K. Um, it's not a speed bump or a foil, but they just call them Kleenex box uh, pickups. I'm going to put one right up there. We're going to pretty much leave this one alone. We're going to wire some sound to it. We're going to kind of clean it up. Uh, we'll matchbook the neck and 
and do something with the truss rod cover, put better tuners on it and that kind of thing. So again, you'll see this one, the East LA Cutaway. Now, the reason I did this episode was to introduce um, the other guitar being played, the restaurant junk pile. Um, Troy broke it out at the Escondite the other night, and um, it's a monster. It's a screamer. And we're going to close this episode out by watching Troy play the other guitar just like this live at the Escondite. Don't forget to give me a like. Make sure you click on those links up there so you can follow these guitars as they're built out. You'll get a lot of ideas and tips on what to avoid or what to inspect. Expect people. Respect what you inspect, not what you expect. Write that one down. Um, anyway, you learn a lot from what I'm doing when I cut these things up. To you people out there that are very critical of cutting up a guitar that's cracked and broken with the neck off, I'm sorry I ruined the $60 guitar to make it playable. And uh, you might change your mind after you listen to this one. Take it away, Troy. See you next time, guys.
Thank you.